Hey, welcome back to Mr. C's E-Bike. Today, I got the Hitway BK6M. As you can probably tell by the size of the box, it's a folding bike. And let's get it out of the box. I'll unpack or show you how it's packed and show you how to assemble the bike. Oh, right off the bat, it's packaged really well. Got a few loose things in here. Get these out. Got your seat. Got your box, which I'm sure has got your pedals and your tools and whatever else in there. Uh, looks like everything else is strapped in. All right, let's see how heavy this thing is. Actually, no, it's not too bad. All right. There's no reason for you to have to watch me cutting zip ties and tape. So I don't know if I'll speed through this part or just cut it out entirely. All right. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I've, I've had to unpack worse. But, and, well, I left the packing material on the handlebars because I wanted to show you how it came. And it's all folded up. This is, I don't know, it's, it's really small. <laughs> but, anyways, first thing you got to do when you start putting it together is to open that up and... Crap, I want to show you this side. All right, when you fold it out, I'll do it with one hand. You got to clip that together. Make sure you push this down into that slot. It locks it so it can't come back out. All right, after you get that locked into place, you have to. Push this in, and this locks here. You have to slide this this way once you go to fold it back down. But it locks into place. You gotta put the camber lock in there and push it down. Then you take your handlebars. And these only go in one way. There's a little notch in there. Oh, you got to undo this. Push that back down. And it's starting to look like a bike already. I think I'm going to put it on the table and finish the rest, though. All right, I got it up on the table. Now seems like a good time to see what you get with the bike. Here you got pump for the tires. Let's get it out of the bag. It's a nice compact pump. Now it folds right together. And I assume this is the charger. That's the charger. So it doesn't feel like a cheesy one. Now, the reason I'm unpacking this stuff is because it comes with the tool that you need to put these parts on. It comes with a nice tool that carry with your bike and it's got everything on here that you need to put the bike together. Yeah, a padlock, well, a bike lock, which is always a good thing to bring with you. You have your front reflector and your wheel reflectors and your 
nut caps for the front tire. The back ones are already on. And your pedals, which I believe are folding pedals. Which makes the bike take up that much less space. Yep. yep. Oh, they're kind of stuck. Or it's just because, yeah, they're not in there, so I don't really have the leverage. And, speaking of, remember, I think it's your left pedal. It's your left pedal is always reverse thread. So when you go to put it on, that's something to remember. And I'm not going to use this tool, although it's got everything on it that you need. It's always easier if you use your own tools. Let's get to it. All right, first thing I'm going to do, I don't know how it says in the directions, but I'm going to put my pedals on, get this to start. And these are something that you should tighten down good. I mean, some of the things you don't have to tighten down. And some of the things you got to really make sure they're snugged because that will come loose. And you just do the same thing on the other side. And like I said, the left pedal is a reverse threads. So instead of turning it clockwise, you turn it counterclockwise. And I guess it's worth saying that everything you need to put this bike together is this right here. You need Phillips and a flat screwdriver, a wrench for your pedals, and an Allen wrench. And that's it. You go to put the reflectors on. You do it on the side away from the valve stem. And you just put it in. Anyways, there's a slot cut into this. And you put that spoke right into that slot. Push it out towards the rim. Put your piece in there. And then just give it a turn clockwise. And that's it. And you do the same thing for the front tire. All right, we're back on the ground for this. And this is pretty, I mean, obvious. You got the screw and you got the hole the screw goes in. <laughs> Find where you want it. Pop it on. Tighten it down. Now, this whole assembly is really easy. Now tighten that up after. But I want to show you one thing I really I think is really cool with this bike. See how the handlebars are, and if that's not a comfortable angle, you flip this and you can turn them wherever you want, which I think is just really cool. But anyways, you check, make sure everything's plugged in. Some sometimes. The bikes come like this, and this stuff will be unplugged just so you can reach to get the handlebars in. All right, the next step is to put the seat in, but I wanted to show you this before it's in. If you can see, there's a little lever right there. You pull the lever, and you flip the seat up. It's a little stiff, but... That's so you can slide the battery out. I wanted to show you that now because it's a lot easier to see now than when it's on the bike. And to put the seat in, you got to loose or open that clamp. Put the seat in. Nope. Got to tighten this up a little bit. My fingers. There. 
and this seat. Look at how much padding there is on this thing. And the back here, too. I'm not sure how much this will hold, but, I mean... I don't know. <laughs> it's holding me sitting here bouncing, but I'm not sure how much that's rated for. And that little lever is so you can get this out. I don't have the key on yet. It's still attached to the bike, but that's so you can get the, the battery out without taking the seat out. Right, now, the last thing you got to do is the guide lines for your back fender which see I mean this whole bike was really easy you put that on there and you tighten it back down you do the same thing on the other side and this bike is done and other than giving it a charge, I mean, it's ready to ride. Well, the tires are still a little soft, but they give you a pump, so. Oh, come on. <laughs> See how easy it is. And then I repeatedly drop a bolt forever. Uh, These you want to make sure are nice and tight too. And you may have to loosen them up if you find your fender. Actually, that's a metal fender. If you find your fender is rubbing, you may have to just loosen them up, move it around. And I didn't know that fender was metal. All right, now that it's all together, I'll go over some specs. This is a 48 volt. 14 amp hour battery paired with a 750 watt motor. The gearing is one by seven, so it's a seven speed. You have a headlight, a tail light, brake light. You have, I can reach it, a little bell. This does have a throttle and a cadence sensor. And it's got disc brakes, which are, I don't know. Look like they're 160 millimeters. Usually say they're on it somewhere. Yep, 160 millimeter manual disc brakes. And I have these brakes on, I don't know, like four different bikes. And everybody says hydraulic, but you don't really need the hydraulic brakes until you start getting a heavy bike up over 40 miles an hour. Because I mean, at 38 miles an hour, these these brakes will go from well 38 to locked up, and then every place in between. And what else I want to show you? Well, I'll show you the display. I want to show you the battery and how that works, turning it on and off and taking it off the bike. And I'm not going to ride it today because, well. I got a lot of stuff to do, but just the install video or the build video is going to be enough for you to get a, get a look at the bike. And maybe if you want it, if you don't want it, if you do want it, I'm going to leave the links down below so you can go and check it out and stick around, subscribe, hit the bell. And I'm going to be doing my first ride video on this. And seeing how I like it. I do like that it comes with metal fenders, those plastic ones flopping around. I have them on every other bike. This is the only one with these nice fenders. Well, I'm going to show you some stuff and finish the video up. First thing I want to give you a nice close-up of that. The key in the off position, you can take the key out. The key on the on position, you got to leave it in. The key where it says, well, I think it says push. That's how you take the battery off the bike. You actually have to push the key in and turn it. 
All right, the key is on. First time for me starting this up. Um, it has the odometer down here, trip odometer, bolts, time, and back to your odometer. I have to keep moving it because I can't see. <laughs> the sun's on it. Here's a Since the top speed is 90 miles an hour. Yeah, 90 miles an hour. It's awesome. 20 miles an hour in PSA 3. And while I'm doing my ride, or between now and I do my ride, I'm going to see if I can un unlock that because there's no reason a 750-watt motor can't go faster than that. And everybody always asks me. All right, I hope you... Uh, enjoyed that or found it interesting or educational or maybe you want to check out the bike whatever and oh it seems like a really well built built bike i mean it's even got a suspension seat post on it which i didn't notice till just now so like I said, I'm going to leave the links down below. Go and check it out. Wait around, and I'm going to be posting a first ride video on this. And I'll tell you if I like it. And, oh yeah, it says this is for riders from 5 foot 4 inches to 6 foot 2 inches, I believe. Which, I mean, it's... I don't know. It, it feels like I'm going to be really comfortable on it. I'm just, just a little bit over. And that's what this, I don't know. We'll figure it out when I do my riding video. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Stick around. Catch the riding video.